right guys, so that is Wawona Campground. Um, let's start with the rules and then we'll talk about the pros and cons of the campsites themselves. And just as I did before, I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly. You can find them online and I'll put them down in the description below as well. All food must be stored properly 24 hours a day. Garbage and litter attracts bears and must be disposed of at once in dumpsters provided those are everywhere. Do not leave campfires unattended. Fires must be completely out. There is a ton of water here, so it's very easy to fill up pour a lot of water into your fire pit, just make sure it's completely out before you go to bed. There are generator hours. Switching sites are not permitted. Quiet hours from, from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Six people maximum per site, including children. I don't really see that being enforced. There's a few different sites I've seen here that have more than six people. Checkout times at noon. Two vehicles allowed per site. Washing dishes at your campsite. So this one's a little bit more important. Camping, wastewater, such as dishwasher, must be disposed of in proper utility sinks at restrooms. They don't want you to dump it anywhere out here uh, where eventually some might rain, some of the waterways, you can see the waterways nearby, might pick it up and take it down to the river. So very important that you don't just dump dirty dishwasher or anything like that around your campsite. Digging, leveling not allowed, driving nails into the trees, anything that hurts the trees not allowed, and obviously connect collecting any sort of pine cones, rocks, anything like that, also not allowed. Again, you'll find those in the description down below and I'll link the website as well. Let's talk about a couple things you should know and then the pros and cons of the campground itself. One of the coolest things about staying here is that you do have river access. So right now that it's summertime, it's nice to go take a dip in the water. We're only here for one night, so we did not end up doing that, but I did talk to the ranger and she mentioned that if you, if you go to the Bee Loop, behind the amphitheater, there's actually a really cool spot to get in the water there. You can do it anywhere, but she was saying that it was a little bit more private on that side. Something to consider if you're in loop B. When you check in, I do like that when you check in, you have to go through an actual checkpoint, talk to the ranger, they give you your stuff. You have to put a little pass on your car so that they know you're here. And one of the things you should know as well is that there's loop A, B, and C. So if you have the chance, I don't know that there's a preference between one, uh, A versus C or B versus A, but just know that the ones on the south end of the campground are next to the river. So where we are, site 70, loop C, you can hear the water at night, which is really awesome. But if you're closer, it's probably even better. Okay, quickly, pros. Grocery store and hotel that is breakfast, lunch, dinner is five to 10 minutes away max. The museum there, the horses, very nice. If you're here, it's very nice to just kind of leave, spend some time in Moana and then come back. Uh, bathrooms are incredibly clean which is really, really nice. They're very well maintained. Sinks have water. There is potable water here, which you can fill up and drink if you want. Um, toilets actually flush. It's very, very well designed. The other pro is you do have lots of shade, again, with these huge trees, very similar to the Pine Knot Campground in Big Bear. Just a ton of trees. I was able to set up the hammock. We did not need a canopy, even though it is the 4th of July. It's hot. There's only two real cons that I put together while I was here. Number one, the sites are really close together, like really, really close together. Now we got pretty lucky because even though it, this was packed, it took me weeks to find a campsite. Most of our neighbors around us are not here. So I don't know if last minute cancellations or something, but I am noticing that if it was actually full, I mean, you'd be camping like 10 to 15 feet away from somebody else. And there are no showers. There are no showers here. So if you're taking a dip in the river, whatever it is you're doing, um, like most campgrounds I've stayed at, they don't have actual showers, so just something to consider. When all is said and done, awesome campground. Would definitely come here and stay again. I very much plan on doing that. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the full vlog. Be out soon.